Earlier this week, the San Antonio Independent School District announced a budget shortfall may force it to make further cuts in addition to closing some schools and shuffling staff. The News 4 I team has learned the district will have to pay AT&T $300,000 after the phone company claimed service was not disconnected at SAISD's former headquarters. As Jay Avila reports, AT&T initially billed the district more than $2 million. As we reported last August, SAISD's old headquarters have been empty and locked up for more than two years. But for a time, the phones remained connected. When we requested records that might explain why, the district maneuvered to keep those locked up too. SAISD has denied any of its staff failed to request phone service be shut off at the old Lavaca Street complex when it moved into its new headquarters near Fox Tech High School and alleged it had been overcharged by AT&T. Did anyone at the school district drop the ball? To my knowledge, staff has indicated that they provided proper notice. A written notice to, to AT&T that services would no longer be needed. The I-Team requested that written notice and phone records that might shed light on what happened, but SAISD sent our request to the Texas Attorney General's office for an opinion. The AG determined the records are public and should be released, but rather than do that, lawyers for the district sued the Attorney General's office, blocking those records from view. In the months since then, the district negotiated with AT&T to reduce the bill and released a statement. AT&T and SAISD reached an agreement to release each other from all claims, including AT&T's charge of $2.2 million against SAISD. The district agreed to pay AT&T $300,000. The statement adds neither party makes any admission and the district settled for the purpose of avoiding costly and lengthy litigation. And I believe that it's not an issue of funding. It's an issue of leadership. It's already been a turbulent year for SAISD. In addition to announcing the closure of 15 schools, a heating system failure forced the district to cancel classes during a cold snap in January. Parents like Mario and Maria Cantu are frustrated. They have four kids attending the district. This is supposed to be one of the biggest districts though in San Antonio, and they can't even provide heat for our kids. But here they are, they're going to provide $300,000 for a mistake they didn't do. I mean, come on. After the heat system failure, two district employees resigned, including Deputy Superintendent of Operations, Kenneth Thompson. Thompson was previously the head of technology at the time of the phone mix-up, according to SAISD board member Ed Garza. We've requested how much public money the district has spent on legal fees, both to negotiate with AT&T and to fight our open records request. We will update you when we get a response. For the News 4i team, I'm Jay Avila.